Uh, when last did you use public transport? Uh, hey, that's funny. I actually used it when it was locked down. Just <laughs> locked down, Papa. Yeah. And it was tricky. Wanted to go to Durban and had no car. Like around my team, there's nobody who like nobody yeah. had a car. Mm-hmm. So the only transport that you didn't have to have a permit to go was like the bus, Papa. I said, yeah, you know what? I let's hop on a bus. Yes, said sir. mask, very the mask <laughs> on another level. He said cap. <laughs> said hoodie on top of. No one can see this yeah. is all real. We're chilling like this. Understand? Uh. So uh, are you good home? That's what uh, matters. We were going to record, Papa. Mm-hmm. We were going to make more music. So on that trip, no one noticed you were open. Nobody noticed, Papa. Ah, good disguise, they, good disguise. And guess what? We traveled that night. You know, mm-hmm. when you travel by bus at night, you arrive in the morning. Six and the whole trip up and ballet, the dog. Because it's yeah, at yeah, night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only person who's, uh, who's out here who pay healing is only the driver. Yeah, and yeah. the guys who want to smoke cigarettes yeah, every time. You understand, like, the yeah, bus stop. Okay, next one. Like, man, man, man yeah. like... Uh, Aubrey, when you used to take taxis in town, have you, are you do you used to sit in front of the taxi? No. Why you never sit in front? Taxi it's man, it's it's No, no, it's not even that. It is. I, I never see. I was. I abona. No, no, doesn't matter. We sit It is a I never sit in the middle, especially if it's uh, if it's those old taxis. Yeah, Super sixty. You never sit on the engine. Yeah, why do you see the thing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, talk. Come That's on. not the level, ah, bro. This guy, I'm not, I'm not, not getting shit. Yeah, he's not gonna pay me for this. Mm-hmm. You understand? But uh, when I was young, I used to, cause I had no, I had no choice. Cause especially if you vying with, uh, like going to, going to school. And it takes any cocktail and jalong in young Galena. And if there's no space, the only space that's available is that one. You wanna hop on that oh. one? You understand? It's just that with that, you didn't have to do this, cause you already, you just paid. You just pay at the end of the month. You understand? But yeah, I really hated this thing. Yeah, I'm more of a backseat nigga. Just stay posted up. You understand? The Rosa Parks, right? Yeah, I understand. There's a super actually <laughs> movie. Okay, the next one, my DMs questions. In your opinion, which artist would you would you vote for if they were running for the music industry presidency? And also tell us why. Which artist would you vote for if they had to run for the music uh, industry presidency? <sighs> Tricky. Tricky. Because no me, as a, as a musician, because I'm also a businessman, mm-hmm. I'm not going to look at it as only the music. Because if you look at it as music, you're going to be more biased because you're going to go for the topic who talks about what, who talks about what. But in terms of how to run a business, I'll go for those eggs. Zex Bandin. Zex Bandin. That was a been, person I also had in mind. Yeah, this, this, and he, he speaks for artists. Mm-hmm. Like understand? an activist, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's that guy. He's always been that guy. Because you know it from when he's still pushing his company, Mayoni Production. Mm-hmm. You understand? He was, you understand? Mm-hmm. And it still came back with a young choir with the black coffee when he, mm-hmm. he was, I felt like dancing. And then now he said, Kwa Osama. <laughs> and then next thing he said, Kwa 2023. Great. Anyway. That's the perfect guy to go for. Because yeah. he raps. He's the blueprint. The South African music has mm-hmm. always been Sauda, 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 this Sauda. Zex for presidency. Ah, there you have it. The whole 